Minutes ago, the World Health Organization released a new survey on the risk from overusing antibiotics. A look at 12 countries reveals widespread misconceptions about antibiotic resistance, calling it, quote, a global health crisis. We've been tracking the rise of hard to treat superbug infections, and they're leading to longer hospital stays, higher medical costs, and deaths. Our Dr. Holly Phillips is here with the new findings. Holly, good morning. Good a morning. global health crisis. What are some of the misconceptions that this survey points out? Right. Well, this is a very large survey done. Almost 10,000 people were interviewed. Uh, and some of the most common myths still exist in huge numbers. Uh, about 64% of people who were surveyed believe that antibiotics cure the common cold and flu, uh, which in fact they don't. Both of those illnesses are viruses and antibiotics have no effect against them. Wow. Another very common mis misconception was that if you start to feel better, that's when you stop taking your antibiotics rather than completing the full course. So if someone starts to feel better on day two or three, they may not go for seven days. That does two things. It increases the risk that your infection isn't properly cleared. You know how sometimes people will say, oh, my infection came yes. back. It was never actually gone in the first place. But the bigger global issue is that that causes the emergence of superbugs. These are bacteria which are resistant to all antibiotics. And there's a misunderstanding about bugs that are resistant to drugs. Mm -hmm. What is that? Well, about two-thirds of people who were interviewed believe that antibiotic resistance is when your body becomes resistant to the, to the antibiotics. It's actually the bacteria which become resistant. Bacteria are very smart. If they've been exposed to antibiotics on a regular basis, they evolve and grow in ways such that the antibiotics can no longer kill them. That's why superbug infections are so deadly. You become infected and there's nothing on the market that can treat you. And are they contagious? They can be, absolutely. Superbugs can be passed from person to person. Some of the more common settings we see this is with uh, staph skin infections. We see them spreading in dormitories, you know, or, or locker rooms with sports uh, and sports people and athletes or in hospitals. So what do you want us to do with this information? I know people that grab a Z-Pack at the slightest little thing. Sure. You know, I, I mean, I really think that the, F, the um, World Health Organization wants to really broaden our understanding of yeah. this. Um, it, ultimately, it, it comes down to doctors in, a, in the United States trying to hold back on the antibiotics. But the more the patients understand about the risks, the better. It's not just humans as well. Almost 80 percent of antibiotics used yeah. worldwide is in livestock. We know it helps the livestock to grow faster, better, and keeps them healthy in industrial agricultural settings. And the FDA here in this country has a huge initiative to cut back on that use. Last month, Governor Jerry Brown in California passed the strictest legislation limiting the use in animals, and all of those steps should help. So as a physician, since you're here, to help clear up some of those misconceptions for people, right. the common cold or flu is not cured by antibiotics. Absolutely not. And when you get an antibiotic, take it all the way to the end. Right. That's right. it. That's All it. You know, even course. if you feel better on the first day, complete the entire course. Uh, don't share your antibiotics. Don't take any leftover antibiotics if you find them in the cabinet. And also, the, the biggest thing is we tr should try not to get sick. Get your, get your <laughs> vaccination. That. Wash well, yes, your hands. Yeah, right. And then we yeah. won't even be in this take, position. It's a good get, get your flu shots. Absolutely. All right. right. we got to spread the word. Thank <laughs> spread you, Holly. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.